I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin Condoha with the I S U P K. And the Commander Johnny Hanna in California, man. It's like all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You gotta learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call To be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top door Funny how we see vanity and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy you vote for an American president, it's not going to benefit your black life or your Hispanic life. You got to vote for people who have died for you, man. You got to vote for somebody who can who can relate to you, man. And only and only your Howard Jesus Christ can relate to you, a real black man. When you read Revelations and do and, and Daniel's, and you read about a black Jesus, he grew up in Nazareth in a rough neighborhood in the ghetto. He had woolly hair. He was prosecuted by racist Romans, just like just like we are, just like the same thing. We've been brutalized by racist Americans, man. Christ got Christ got crucified, just like we get crucified today, man. It's no different from the Romans and the Americans. How about you choose a king who can relate to your black and Hispanic life, not some president who's gonna who, who's who come out and who's gonna have some allegations of him doing some corrupt things, or her, do, or her being corrupt, or her hiding some kind of emails or something like that, man. Go ahead. But he shall not multiply horses unto himself. Right, give me, um, give me Acts chapter five and 30. Let's read about, a, let's, let's read about somebody who we, who we should choose for as a president and as our leader, man. A real leader. A leader that can make some real change and not give us hope. A leader, a leader that will put down, that will put down drugs, that will show us how to, that will show us how to dodge these traps that America laid down for the black and Hispanic life. Where you at? Go in. The Book of Acts, chapter five, verse thirty. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus. So the God, of, the God of our fathers was Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Raise up Jesus, go ahead. Whom he slew and hung on a tree. We know Christ was hung, on a, was hung up on a cross. We know Christ was killed on a cross, right? Hung on a tree, right? Just like we was lynched. In a, just like we was lynched. Just like we, just like we are put up, just like we are killed today on the streets by racist cops, man. Christ went through the same thing. He can relate to you, black man. He can relate to you, Hispanic man. No, no American president can relate to you. Go ahead. How Christ can, go ahead. God has exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a saint. Now Christ has a job. Christ, Christ, was, Christ was not sent to the earth just to, just, to, just to give peace to everybody. He, was, he had a mission. And his mission was what? To give repentance. To give repentance. He was raised up as a prince and a savior. And to give repentance, go ahead. To Israel. To who? Israel. So in the New Testament says Christ had a mission. His mission was to be raised up to be a prince and a savior. What people today need saving? What people, what people has the highest, the highest rates of incarceration? What, what race has the, has the highest number of their women missing in DC and all over America? The, they're about, they're about 700,000 black women missing in America, man. And nobody's going to go, and nobody's going out to find them. What people are going through all this hell? What people need a saving and a savior? You black and Hispanic, man. 
When people are being put on the borders and being put in cages, man, the Latinos, man, the black men, we are the ones that's going through hell. And we are the ones that need saving, man. And Christ can relate to it. And all, all these prophets in the Bible can relate to it. And today, we, we are prophets right now speaking through this mic, and we can relate to your same issues. And we help each other out through the spirit of the Most High Christ. No American president would ever help you out like that, man. So what the hell are you doing at the booth? How long are we going to be idiots at the booth? How long are we going to be idiots voting for some president who don't give a damn about blacks or Hispanics, man? How long are we going to do that, man? It's, high, it's, it's, it's going to be 2020. It's going to be 2020. 2020, how about we stop being idiots for America, man? How about we stop being idiots for our oppressors? Go ahead. Read it again. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. Right, man. If Christ, if Christ is, a, is, a, is a savior, who is, who is Christ coming to save? He leave it up to the Christian, the Christian church. The Christian church says Christ is coming to save everybody. Well, there's some, there's some people on the earth who need, who need more saving than the other. There's some people who are living in heaven on earth right now. They're not going through any hell. Their bank, their, their bank, their bank accounts are fine. There's another people whose bank accounts are in hell and they're living in debt. Right. They're living in debt with student loans. Their accounts are in the negatives. They stand, they, we, we, are, we stand in, in line to get some food stamps and, and we go into the food bank for free food because we cannot damn afford it. And some people who, who, who are ordering their groceries online, they, they, they get a man to knock on their door and they get their groceries delivered right to their door. They're living in heaven. They don't even have to go to, the, go to the damn grocery store no more. They stay at home and the groceries come to them. There are some people who are living in heaven and there is another people who need saving. And Christ was sent for them to save them. That's you, black man. You need some saving. You are the people who are on earth who are multiplied and divided by religion. Multiplied and divided. Multiplied and divided and now we are conquered, man. We conquered. You got some black people who say, you know what? If you can't beat them, join them. I'm gonna put on a suit and a tie and I'm gonna forget about, I'm gonna forget about all the other black people. I'm just gonna worry about myself. And I am happy sitting sitting around it, sitting at the at the dinner table with my oppressor. You got some black people who divide it, and they say, you know what? I can't. I, I I just can't wait to get a job. I can't wait to get a job. And you say, you know what? I'm gonna get some fast money. How about we sell some drugs? Let's just sell some drugs, and it's gonna be real easy. Some fast, quick money. We are divided, man. Black man, you gotta be one-minded and move together. And if you vote, if you voting, if you voting for a president, you are not one-minded. That president is going to separate you from God, because God already set our, God already set us a, set up set us up a leader, and that leader is a black man named Jesus Christ. Right. That's who our leader is, not some president. Go ahead, where you at? All right, give me Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people. For what? For thou art in holy people. It says, for thou art in holy people. This is talking to every black and every Hispanic man. You are in holy people under God. God chose you to be his, man. Read on. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord, God, uh, unto the Lord thy God. You are the one who, you're the one who was chosen. That's why we go through the most hell. At a, at a time, black man, you ruled the earth. And that is, and that is when you that, that is when you obey God and you please God by giving him your obedience. Now, why, why are black people living in hell today? Because we chose another leader who, who, was, who was strange to his laws. We chose a leader who told us to worship false gods and to get high and to do drugs and to take on his, his, his gay culture, man. That's what we're doing today, and that's why we fail, man. If we want to get back, no, no America. If we want to get back to being the ruling class, black man, Hispanic man, you got to come back to the ruling God, the ruling power, the true ruling power, man. 
Where you at? Go ahead. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. Above who? All people. Above all people, man. I thought the Lord, I thought the Lord loved everybody. But how come Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6 says the Lord chose you to be above all, chose you to be special people above all people? Why? Because there, there are more ethnicities than a black or Latino. You got the Japanese, you got the Chinese, you got the Arabs and the East Indians. But the Lord chose you to be above them, man. And every day you see that you are above them. America, America could, could not survive. It would not be as it would not be as successful as it is without black or without black women or black men. Right. You got black you got black women who were the first computers in NASA. You got black men who created the stoplight. We there's so many inventions. You got a black man who, who who did the layout for DC. How come a white man couldn't do it? How come these white men couldn't do those things, man? Because they don't have the have the intelligence that you have. They don't have half the intelligence, man. But black man, you are conquered because we sinned against God. And we continue to sin. If you, if, you go to, if you go to go vote, you are sinning against God. Because God already chose a leader for you. God chose a black man named Christ to be your leader. You are sinning against God if you're going to go vote for some, for, for, for some strange man to be your leader. Some, li some lying politics. Some lying politic who's gonna lie to you and sell you false hope like Barack Obama did. I know you feel ashamed and embarrassed that Barack Obama didn't do a damn thing for you. But the eyes should be came, they told you back in 2008. Back in 2008, uh, Commander General Hanna, the leader, the commanding general of the eyes should be told you not to vote for Obama. That he was gonna give you false hope and that he was not gonna help you out. But we were so hard headed and we didn't listen. And because we love America so much, we were happy. We was happy to see a brown-skinned man, a dark, a brown-skinned man in the White House. We we thought niggas made it when we when we seen a brown-skinned man in the White House. Barack Obama showed you, Negro, I'm not for you. I am in the White House. I am here to I I am here to satisfy and to heal the wounds of America. And you are not a part of that, black man. We are we are the laborers. We are the slaves of America. We are, the, we are the product of America. We are the product of America, man. The president would not give a damn about us. America has used us for 400 plus years just for our labor, just for our talent, just for our beauty, just for our inventions, man. Until, until they use us up until we're no good. Black man, what you are to America, you are prey to America. And America is the predator. America is, uh, America is the snake. And black man, you are, the, you are the mouse. And we are stupid mice, man. We were supposed to get, a, we were supposed to stay away from the snakes. Because they are our predators. But something is wrong with our mind was though, we as mice say, you know what? We still gonna be friends with, this, with the snakes even though they bite us, even though they consume us whole, man. Black man, we are, here to change, we are here to change the mindset of black men and Hispanic men. Thank you, mommy. No longer, no longer are we gonna be prey to, to this predator. You have to understand who your enemy is in America. You gotta understand that, the, that, that this ruling class in America could give a damn about you, black man. You see it every day in the news. You see it every day on Facebook. You see it when you see, when you see uh, the sirens and the flashlights from a cop car. And how they treat you differently from another American. You get pulled over, and you, you get pulled over as a white man. And everything is good. You don't get shot. You don't get tased. You, you can be aggressive with the police. But if you are all Negro, if you're a Negro in America, if you, if you are a Latino, a Latina in America, and you get pulled over by them cops, you are praying for your life. How, how, how many times does a black man get pulled over? What does he do now? Automatically, he pulls his cell phone out and start recording. What white man does that? Do any, any, anytime a white man get pulled over, 
Does he automatically pull out his phone and start recording? Hell no. He don't. He he he's too he's too inflamed and too mad that he got pulled over. He cannot wait for the cop to get out of the car so he can curse out the cop and say, "What the hell are you pulling me over for?" A black man, he get pulled over. He has to pull out his phone and record because he thinks it's gonna, he thinks that is going to be the last seconds of his life. And he wants it to be recorded and documented so he can so somebody can have some proof of what was done to him, man. Ain't no white man pulling out a cell phone when he get pulled over. That white man is gonna curse out that cop and get up in his face and spit on him. There's a difference between a difference between a white man and a black man. One, one is the predator and one is the prey. And if you are that if you if you are at that voting booth, you are nothing but prey, man. You are nothing but prey. We have to stop falling for America's games, man. America's jokes. And, it, and if any black or Latino man, if you think I'm wrong, explain to me and tell me when, a, when, when, a, when us voting for a president ever benefited the black community or the Latino community. Am, am I a liar? Let me know if I'm lying, man. <laughs> Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.